Heat treating is the single most important factor in good knife making. It doesn't matter if a knife is pretty, if it won't hold an edge, it's crap. And when it comes to dialing in the working qualities of steel, heat treating is the key. The beauty of steel is its versatility. Its working qualities can be varied enormously depending on the alloy type, that is, the combination of elements which compose the steel, and the way it's heat treated. There are a number of heat treating operations you'll have to go through in order to produce a good knife. Depending on the steel, these will include hardening and tempering, and may include normalizing, annealing, and other operations. And almost all of them can be accomplished with a heat treating oven. When you first start making knives, you don't necessarily need a heat treating oven. Simple carbon steels are fairly forgiving. Heat them to a cherry red color and quench them in a bucket of transmission fluid and you can get a fairly decent knife. But stainless and other more complex alloys can be extremely finicky. Stainless steels are frequently air quenched, meaning you just take them out and cool them in air. But there are other tricky things you can do with alloy steel like plate quenching, mar quenching, os tempering, and so on. And all of them require heat treating ovens or some other precise means of bringing your steel to a particular temperature. Salt pots, say, or induction heaters. Okay, don't panic. This isn't necessarily a problem for the beginning knife maker who wants to work with stainless or other alloy steels. There are a number of commercial heat treating outfits who will heat treat small batches of knives for individual knife makers. But, if the knife making sickness really gets its talons in deep enough, eventually you'll most likely want to take command of your own heat treating. A heat treating oven will allow you to bring your blades to very precise temperatures for quenching, tempering, and more arcane operations like spheroidizing, mar quenching, and so on. There are a number of manufacturers of heat treating ovens aimed at small production knife makers, including Paragon and Even Heat. All of these will allow you to dial in very precise temperatures. Precision makes for repeatability, and repeatability is the heart of quality control in heat treating. When you get an oven, you'll also want to get little ceramic racks which allow you to position your blades, as well as stainless steel heat treating foil, which is absolutely necessary. It helps you avoid heavy scaling, which will occur if your blades are allowed to remain in contact with oxygen during the whole heat treating process. Higher grade heat treating ovens all come with digital temperature controls. Most of them are programmable. Some allow very complex programming, but this is not necessary for the average knife maker. Some of the lower end models don't come with digital controls, but you have to have some kind of temperature control or there's no point in using a heat treating oven at all. Now, heat treating ovens aren't cheap. Mine ran me a little over $1,000 and has enough internal capacity to fit an 18 inch blade. If you make bowies, you'll want a reasonably sizable one. If your interest runs more to folders, you can get by with a smaller one that'll probably cost you under a grand. One thing to remember is that these are electric and they draw a lot of current. Most of them run on 240, so make sure you've got a dedicated circuit ready for them. If you haven't got the juice, they make for a hell of an expensive coaster for your coffee cup. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out my website, WalterToyBlades.com, where you'll find a more comprehensive and complete version of all these cool videos that I've taken here on YouTube.